I'm just saying they're not looking for income all the time. But if they're not looking for income, guess what the, the compromise is? Guess what the replacement of that is going to be? It's going to be you as an individual. Hey everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk to you guys about a few secrets to actually getting approved for a certain type of credit account without having to use your social security number. All right, so let's go straight into it. For those who don't know, that's the whole purpose of business credit, to actually get something um, of credit, uh, whether it's a loan, a line of credit, property, whatever, without necessarily having to use your social security uh, number. Okay. Now, if you do have to use your social, it's not the end of the world. It's not a bad thing. Um, sometimes certain lines of credit, they need a person to be on there as a personal guarantor. OK, and so or personal guarantees, personal guarantor just really depends on what type of line of credit you end up getting. And sometimes obviously it's not a line of credit, just a credit file in general. OK, so number one, you have to have established business credit. What is established business credit? If you've been building credit for two months, if you've been building business credit for five months, if you've been building business credit for a year. So a established business credit in my personal opinion is six months or greater okay now the reason being is because number one when you have personal credit they report everything every single month to all three credit bureaus okay but when you have business credit they may not report every single month some report quarterly some report every other month some only report to a certain type of bureau so you have to build these relationships with certain types of companies now we go through all of this by the way in our 850 club elite university link is down below if you're interested but either way um in that, in the universe, in, in, well, I should say in that course, in that course inside the university, we show you exactly what accounts you need to get within that first six month time frame. Most of these accounts, everybody knows about, but there's a few that a lot of people don't know about. Either way, you get those accounts. And then once you've had that for, I would say at least four to six months, that's when you're even going to notice your mail is going to change. Your emails are going to change. I mean, you're going to start getting things in the mail, opportunities. You may even get phone calls. If you guys have an account with anything that tracks your business credit report or your business credit score, you're going to start getting offers from them. All of that plays a role. So you need at least six months of established business credit. That's number one. Number two is that you need to have here's the thing a lot of times people they forget that it's not just about building business credit as an entity that's just building credit if you have a legitimate business that actually has revenue then only if, if if it has legitimate revenue will you be able to really step away from not having to provide a social why because they can see that it's established which means you've been paying your bills on time they can see that you have a good mix of accounts because it's been a short period of time and then number three they can see that the money's coming from another source outside of just you okay don't get me wrong it's okay Hey, if you are the funding of the business itself, but guess what? That introduces an automatic social security number situation. Okay. That's the number one reason that holds a lot of people back is that they spend so much time getting the LLC, getting the S Corp, C Corp, trademarks, all this stuff, right? Then they start getting the accounts to start building their business credit, right? Then they start doing that for three months or whatever. But let's just say they wait at least a six month time frame. Now six months is going no, now six months is here and they start applying for things. They got the easy accounts, right? But now you're starting to get the harder stuff. The reason why people get declined is the number one reason is because there's no business revenue. There's no business revenue. So, and now here's the thing. The good news is, in most cases, depending on what you're applying for, they won't actual proof of income. I'm not saying lie on the applications. I'm just saying they're not looking for income all the time. But if they're not looking for income, guess what the, the compromise is? Guess what the replacement of that is going to be? It's going to be you as an individual. Okay. Now, there are plenty of times where um, they need your social, but they're really just, they really just need your social as a backup plan. You're the personal guarantor. Being a personal guarantor is not the end of the world, guys. Um, I, of course, you can buy commercial property 100% in the business name. They still need a personal guarantor, even if the business has revenue, even if the business is established, even if the business has business credit. But don't forget the whole purpose, the whole purpose. Don't because here's the thing. I think sometimes so many people get caught up by not saying, oh, well, I don't want to give my social guys. As long as it's not showing up on your personal credit, who cares? 
right? You can be a personal guarantor on, you can literally have, you can get cars in your name, um, real estate in your name, credit cards in your name. You could be a personal guarantor and it's not on your personal credit, okay? So it's nothing wrong with that. I think that's a, I think that's where a lot of people miss the dynamic is that they focus on not having their social, okay? But at the same time, sometimes they need to verify who's applying. <laughs> they need to know who it is. For example, this is a freebie. Amazon business line of credit. You can get approved for this, right? However, usually after about six to nine months, once you get approved for that, I mean, once you do the application, they say, listen, we got all your business information, person, because we don't know who you are. Can you at least give us your social so we can verify your identity? So sometimes they need your social for different things, okay? They're about to trust you with a line of credit in hopes that you pay. I know you say that you're going to pay, but you know how many people said that they were going to pay? You have to look at how that looks for the banks. Now, there are other companies that will take bigger risks, right? But at some point, they're going to say, okay, we may not go with the social, but you can't just have a business just to have a business just to have a business. It has to be have some type of revenue, guys. It got to make sense. Let me ask you a question. Would you let your cousin borrow a hundred dollars if they have no job? I know the answer, right? You know, so that you have to look at it like that too, because that's the bank. But either way, can you do it? Absolutely. Establish business credit at least six months. If you get denied for whatever that is, they probably need you to be established a little bit longer because again, you're trying not to put your social on there, right? Number two, find out why they even need your social. If they need your social for a personal guarantee, again, keep in mind, or you can verify this, just make sure that it's not gonna be on your personal credit report. You can always, most of these places, every single person that's allowing you to have some form of business credit or credit card, loan, whatever, they have customer service. You can call and ask these basic questions. Business only is asking questions all the time. Hey, I got my social, but I'm, I don't want to be a personal guarantee. Or if I am a personal guarantee, um, I don't want to. I don't want it to be on my personal credit. It will it be on their customer service, and they'll let you know. Okay. And of course, thirdly, revenue business revenue, guys. Your business has to make some form of revenue. Stop just making these businesses just to pay business credit and then you don't have actual revenue. I'm not saying you can't start somewhere. I'm just saying at some point. Now, the business itself doesn't technically have to generate a product or have a service per se. You can literally have real estate. You can have, you could be doing hair under that name. You could be having your Uber business under that name. You could be driving for DoorDash. And instead of the DoorDash paying you, they're paying the individual because you're a 1099 contractor anyway with all of these companies, DoorDash, Uber, whatever. And that's a that's where you can get that revenue guy. That's a it, man. I'm now I'm giving free game at this point, right? Um, but either way, that's how you can do that. You could easily have any type of income in general if you want to do things, I won't necessarily say the right way, but if you want to have a stronger business credit profile. That's just an option to keep things going smoothly. Now, I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, that's not accurate. Just do this and just do this. Listen, I'm telling you, I see this stuff all the time and you'll see it for yourself. And again, you don't necessarily want things to be have things where uh, you would get sent off, obviously. But I'm telling you, you need to have established business pro pro credit profile for quite some time. Revenue is most definitely going to help if you're not trying to put your social security number on there. But again, it is is that the biggest reason why? Ask yourself why. Why don't I want to give my social? Well, I don't want it on my personal credit. Well, just because they ask for your social doesn't necessarily mean they're going to put on your personal credit. And that actually solves your problem. OK, but again, there are plenty of things that you can do out there that don't ask for your social. They don't need your social and they go 100% on the established business um, that is that's there, not just because of the revenue, but just because it's established and other things of that sort. Okay. So of course, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, <laughs> of course, if you want to share this video, share it. And of course, be sure to subscribe as we got nothing but great content well on the way. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.